I was born in um, Greenwich, East London, which is just south of the river, on 4th of July 1937. Five of us lived in a little house in uh, Ashburnham Place eventually over there. And then, of course, the September was declared, and that family's broken up and never, never come scrapped together again. My mother and my, my seven, my brother, were part of a mass evacuation scheme that the government had planned. Uh, they called it uh, the P Piper P Project. Probably around my my birthday is the 4th of July, so probably around that time we went back into London. So by, I was three. Because my, my father's in the army, my grandfather's dead, there's just the three of us. Uh, and then in September, almost exactly a year after the outbreak of war, the bombing raid began, the Blitz, as they called it. Well, that meant that for us then, we were, we were back in the middle of it then. Uh, there was you, the air raid war, and you hear that horrible siren, find cover, whatever, however you could. And it went on and on and on, night after night after night. For a little lulls every now and again, then back again. Uh, and we almost got through it. Uh, but it must have been right at the end. Our house took a direct hit, and my mother told me, it was flattened. There was nothing. There was a little portion of one wall still standing. Everything else was rubble. They decided. Well, the only answer that was to get out of London altogether. And uh, uh, my mother was simply told, pack a case, take what you can, get the station. There's a train. Get on it, sort of thing. And didn't even know where she was going. Everything was top secret then. We were on the train with probably hundreds of other people going somewhere. And somebody said. You're going to Wales. She had no idea. She thought, oh, that's good. Sounds like an adventure, you know. And when we got to the East Station, the station was full of people, absolutely, absolutely chock a block, mostly women, many of them carrying babies in the traditional Welsh manner, where you have the baby, shawl around the baby, and then right around your back and bring you to the front again. It was something my other had never seen before. And uh, they were all there. And you were, you were sort of picked out like cattle, you know, I'll have that one, I'll take that one, I'll take that one. We had a mother with us, and uh, if I'd been a year or two older, I'd have come on my own. It's a totally different environment altogether. I'm glad I'm glad I came. It was um, a bit traumatic at the time because you after how to readjust to different uh, people who spoke funny as you seemed to you, and uh, people some people didn't want you. I was 15 on the 28th of September when the war broke out on the 9th of September. So I was 15. Well, to start with, we didn't think that nothing happened for a little while. They issued us with gas masks, and then we had our identity cards, of course. They showed us how, how to use them and everything. And then, of course, we couldn't go out without them, or we were told off. And uh, as I say, it was quite quiet for a little while. But uh, I think it was late 1940 that they started to come across. And I think it was late 40 we had the first bomb. It was down in Pen Penrin Street, just over the line, and they dropped a bomb by the old steelworks. That's what they were after. And um, we were all in bed. Of course, we didn't hear the new alarm it had gone off, didn't expect it. So we, uh, Mum got us all up, naturally, under the stairs, and shouting to Dad, come come on, get out, no, if I'm going to die, die in my bed, you know? It, some things I get after made you laugh. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was eight of us, you see, in, when I, in the big house. But as I said, it frightened us, you know, it did... Uh, we realised then what the war was going to be all about. The first one was the worst because we didn't know what a, you know, what it was going to be like. It was screaming. Oh, and we wondered what on earth was happening. You know, and of course, Mum being in the first war, she, the World War, she knew what it was all about. But that was it was a screaming as it was coming down. And of course, the engines of the German plane made a different droning sound to ours, and you could always tell if it was a German.